good we have. <laughs> All right, so let me get serious. Before I get into the message that I want to bring today, <laughs> let me tell you. Amen. Amen again. <laughs> No, this is not a Bible, first of all. This is a dictionary. And okay. So anyway, I looked it up on Amazon and there's only one they had. And it was like a hundred bucks. So we gonna see, but if you haven't paid attention to my, well, I I grabbed the the light, like it was a obviously the light and the camera ain't attached. But anyway, if you look, I I got books. Do it look like I like getting rid of books? No, but uh. So anyway, that was one. Like I got shoes everywhere. Like he he my presto, but just laying around. I couldn't decide what I was gonna wear. Anyway, so well then this is a doozy, a vintage classic item. Picked up today from the Goodwill. Uh, Street Fighter game. It had another name in there. Panjo Nome. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. But here's the game. There's the disc. Um, in decent shape. Got some scratches. I don't think y'all can see it. Uh, yeah, yeah, a few scratches. Um, but it's a Sega Saturn game. But it also has the book. Um, so, hey, maybe DK Oldies will buy it off me. I don't know if I decide I want to sell it because I like stuff. You <laughs> like. Like, um, there's a Prince A track not for sale. <laughs> um, then I got toys, as you can see back there, not for sale. This might be on that. I don't know. I want to hold on this for a little while. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. We shall see. Um, then this book, which is. I have both. I think I got both copies. It's Think and Grow Rich and Rich is Man in Babylon uh, combined, which is awesome. So this is for me uh, as I've read them, but I, I need to read them again, especially Think and Grow Rich because weirdly enough, when I was reading Think and Grow Rich almost a decade ago, a lot of what I thought and some of the rich, not all of it, it's starting to come to pass, so it's weird in a way. So yeah. All right. So now we're down to the nitty gritty at the Goodwill. <sighs> Having a rough day at work, so I went to the one place of kind of therapy for me, which is seeing if I can find some jewels. So. I went in there, really wasn't hitting on nothing, like, really. I still a little jet, but wasn't hitting on nothing. And I was getting ready to leave, literally. And they brought a rack to the front. 
And I was like, you know what? I'm going to peep the rack. And I broke the store rule. You know, I'm supposed to put it on this shelf. So that you can tell it. Then after that, you can go back to hunting your treasures. So, bump that. And just went and started looking at the, the rack that they had just rolled out. The shelves are nearly packed. In some of the areas anyway so that and i went and just started pulling and broke that i land if anybody's reselling you know what i mean Ralph lauren is saturated it's inflated polo is not polo i think do i got a polo out here that i ain't even it's, it's in a it's in the, it is the foundation of a dead pile it's not polo and ain't polo However, you have polo, that's still polo, but you need a 3X polo. And guess what I find? Not only do you need a 3X polo, and I'm not throwing up noop. 3X polo. But the E3X got nice little embroideries. And I also found some other stuff, but I think this one's going, I'm going to keep some of it. Well, one, one, two pieces. But anyway, new with tags. Adidas. Um, 3X. Yeah. Great. Nice little jacket. Um, here we go. Here's one. Three eggs now. And look at that mug. Big pony. Look at the embroidery. Another polo, tall, this is linen, okay? So, that might be one I keep. Pretty big dude, I mean. Um, this one, probably have to put it in the cleaner, but booyah. You boy, classic. Polo. 67. Like, bro. Come on. Three X. Gotta back up for this Number three on the back. Got a moth flying in here. Anyway, let me get all that right now. Just insane around the collar. Like, touch a vision. I'm done. I'm debating on keeping this because it's a uh, 3x2. Look at it. You do. Straight. 
And Polo is like 560,000 Polos online. 500, that's over half a million. So how do you get, you need the big boys. So. But then, they had, hold on, let me, let me hold on. So then they had this. It's a Nike T. It's say like two X. You see how big this on y'all is? This might not <laughs> make it, bro. Show you everything. You understand? Anyway, so and look at this broad around there. Huh? So this here for me. Yeah, at least three, two, two deal here. And then, yeah, deal. It's a whole zip. Huh? It's double, double up there. Bruh. 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 Tell that boy nothing. Little big because I'm big, so I need a little space. So, your boy. So, that was today. Now, I did grab that bag. Anyway, that, this is a blanket that I gotta get on there. Hold up, cool. So, yeah, here we go. So this stuff I got the other day, some classic polos. That's a 3X. It's classic. Stuff you kind of find every day. This is a two. So keep that for me. Then this like a polo sport. What size is it? Extra large. So we'll see. Not saying this is a vintage polo it's a large classic and then wait, wait. this another vintage and then this So Tommy Bahama missing two buttons. So we're gonna see. Oh, uh, what's uh what's extra? So, but what am I trying to say right now? Um 
One of the reasons I need my hat on. Uh, well, where is my hat? Where is my hat? Oh. <laughs> One of the reasons um, that your business is failing on the Ebays is lack of knowledge. Straight up, bro. Straight up, straight up. Knowledge. Apple, the forbidden fruit. That is why your business is failing. You don't want to do your homework. You want to do your homework. You going into the Goodwill, buying the Forever Time brand, Buying the two ball guys brand, buying the um, gap because you see everybody somewhere buying it. No, eBay is a particular type of niche, and you can't impose mall mentality mall mentality in the ebay niche because ebay separates mall mentality from the people who know what they doing you you thinking I can just grab anything, throw it online, and money gonna come. It will. It will. But you got a problem. You got a problem. How fast do you want your money? You want it to come in a year? Or do you want it to come in 30 to 90 days? Everything in here, everything will sell, man. Everything will sell. It's going to sell. It's going to sell. However, Will it sell fast enough for you to keep going back to the well? You can't purchase without an influx of cash flow. You need cash flow. Okay? Cash flow. That's the only way. So if you're on a string line... Str the streamline or streamline. Anyway, if you want a budget, like moi, you, you need to know your market. You need to get your ego. Out the way and learn who is buying what on the eBay. Gotta put my shoes back up. Like these are mine. You know what I mean? These are mine. So, some Kyrie's. Buy a lot of Kyrie's. Why do I buy Kyrie's? Because I don't like what Nike did. And so, that being said, say so why not? <laughs> I'm like, that was, so even though Kyrie don't have a deal with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, the sneaker 
you know what I mean? It's still something about it. Anyway, don't ask me all those details. I really, I just like to shoot. Not only that it's comfortable, but then at the same time, you're like, you still get Nike the money though. Nike still getting the credit. Probably, but I figured there's going to be some value in them after a while. So, that's why. I got no more space in nowhere else. Um, what else was I saying? She goes, she's gonna go back in the house. Uh, school. Turn on Xbox. And you put those principles up. But anyway, know your market. Okay? You need to understand what your focus is, what your goals are. Okay? You need to understand that. You need to understand who buys online. A lot of times, people who shop at the mall don't buy online. Okay? I'm not saying that they don't. But when we look at percentages, a lot of people who go to malls and shop don't go online and shop. Not, I'm not saying that they don't go online. I'm just saying that they don't consistently go online. Not only that, you need to find a consistency and you got to understand the value of your products. So, example. Uh, looking for, I could use, I could use the Kyrie's. This Kyrie will have a niche market. Somebody like me, right? Niche market. Sneaker person, niche market. Collector, niche market. Somebody wear these, these type polos. Niche market, niche. Off my foot. Somebody, you, you need not niche. Look at this, you beat the death. Got it from Goodwill for five dollars over a year ago. You just looking for comfort. These are my beaters, everyday beaters. Like I don't drive in my sneakers. When I get ready, I put my shoes in the morning. I get ready to go to work. Put my shoes in the car. Drive in these. And then when I get back to my car, when I get to work, taking these off, put my shoes on. My sneakers, boom, get to the car, go drive, boom, put these on. Different kind of market, right? Now watch this. Niche market. Niche. Jays. Niche market. These. Now, where my point? You can't go on eBay and say, I'm going to make money. And you don't know that this person and this person are almost different. You go on the eBay with this, thinking you're going to land these. You go on the eBay with this type of customer mindset, thinking you're going to pull the sharks like these. It's two different niches, okay? You got to know that a sneakerhead no, <sighs> probably might not wear these. They're gonna they collect them. Some of them are going to wear them, but then some of them might hold on to them. This person different. He he really looking for comfort. You gotta know your market. So don't go to eBay. 
thinking you gonna win with this. No. <laughs> know your market. Who are you selling to? That sneaker, that Jordan 1, that's a particular type of sneaker person. The Presto, particular type of sneaker person. These, particular type of sneaker person. These, particular type of sneaker person. particular type of sneaker person okay so Bobby Bauer so don't sit there with the poo poo face after a year and your prestos ain't sell at a hundred and whatever you gotta know the market if you're into sneakers, you got to know who sells, how fast, and whatnot. Jordan is the apple of sneaker world, okay? So, you're not going to hit, you're not going to miss with a pair of J's. Kyrie's not so much right now, but you got to know that. You got to know what polos sell. You got to know what polos don't sell. You got to know how to navigate the traffic, of eBay in order to get what sales you want or you will turn into a collector which is cool I like collecting but I also like selling now the stuff you see back here it's a part of just a collection for me but I also gotta flip and make money some of these sneakers are just for me because I like them but the These ain't even my size. But once again, you gotta know your market. Okay. This is a shoe that will definitely fit somebody that skates or a culture. This is a culture shoe. So don't have no shoestrings. Don't sell it as is. You know what I'm saying? It looks real good after I cleaned it. Um bought these and I didn't know what I was doing. But it is what it is. So, um, know your market. Know who spends a lot of time on eBay selling, not selling, buying. Know how the algorithm works. Know how to manipulate, if you will, that algorithm. And then understand your sell-through rate. Buy the sell-through rate, which is... If you find, if you go to the thrift and you find 10 polos that are 3X, buy all of them. But if you go to the Goodwill and you find <clears throat> 20 polos blue with a yellow horse at one at an extra large, leave all of them. Because they're garbage. Because it's 560,000 Virgins of pulp virgins. <laughs> virgins. Versions of polo. You need to buy items that not only have a, 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 a high sell through rate, but you need to buy items that are exclusive in a way. You need to think of yourself as a museum curator. A museum cur curator is not going to put um, um, a iPhone 15 in a museum. W they will put a iPhone 1 in a museum. And a museum curator is not going to put a, a 2015, no, 2025 Mac in a museum. A museum curator would put a 1985 Mac in his museum or her museum, okay? A museum curator is not going to put a vase 
from Walmart in a museum. A museum curator would put a vase from 500 BCE because one is rare. When you go to the Goodwill, here's something, here's an exercise to do for yourself. Go through one rack, just one, both sides, and find, pull out the brands. After you see three of them, pull it out. Every time you see three, once you get, get one, get, boom, like, okay, uh, two, oh, that's two of them, and now you're pulling them, right? If by the end of that entire rack, both sides, you've got nine or ten of that one item, throw that junk away. Don't you buy it. But if you pull from a rack, pull from a rack, and you're pulling from a rack, and when you're pulling, you don't notice, like, you only see one of it. You done pulled two racks and three racks and four racks and five racks you've gone through the whole store and you've only seen one of that item now you're starting to get hot look that item up because nine times out of ten that item doesn't have a lot of of placement on ebay and if it does it has a higher sell through rate if you see what's the, what's a good one that i'm seeing all the time Karen Rogers, Colleen Rogers, something like that. I can't remember. I see eight of them per rack, each side. So 16 per one whole rack. That's oversaturation. You don't want it. Polo, oversaturated. You need to find the subsections between polo. That's when you buy it. Okay, you got to know how to market. Just like Apple or Day Trader knows how to watch the charts. You gotta know the stuff like this right here, Banana Republic. I would never really want to sell just on a, a, a polo. No, but there are specialty brands within that, and you need to learn them all. So, do you want to be a warehouse, or do you want to be a business? And once you decide what you want to be, and you're willing to learn, learning requires investment. You have to invest in your education, meaning time also resources because guess what you're gonna strike out i can't i got something that's been i didn't have it online for so long i don't know it might not be out here it might be somewhere else but um but yeah so learn 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 and learn educate and educate and educate and educate yourself because the more you grow and educate, the better you are. Anyway, this is your boy. Holler at me. Deuce with the red eye. <laughs> mm.